Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with my February favorites. I cannot believe tomorrow is the last day of February, or today when I'm posting this. This month has flown by like crazy, but I'm not upset about it because that means summer will be here sooner. So let's get started with my empties video. I, let's see, not too many things. I'll try not to ramble too much so that it's not forever long. Oh, I did want to mention I bought a light. So I might be incredibly washed out right now. This is kind of like a trial and error sort of thing. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, what should I start with? Let's see. Okay, this is the most random favorite, so we'll start with this one first. This is coconut oil. I got this at Marshall's and it was $5.99, so this is like dirt cheap. Um, this has been my favorite thing this month. Um, I have I get really dry skin in the winter times, but I love to take baths, so it's kind of like a catch-22 kind of thing. Um, but what I've been doing is I've been putting coconut oil in the bath with me, and then when I get out, my skin feels so incredibly moisturized, and it just like locks in the moisture, and to the point where like I almost don't feel like I have to put mo uh, lotion on when I get out of the tub. So this has been like my new favorite thing. I've also actually been using it to take off my makeup. Um, it works really well. Um, not quite as well I found as like the Basha makeup breakup on um, your eyes, but it works really well on your face. Um, and it's definitely a lot more gentle than using those wipes, and I think it works just as good, if not maybe better than most wipes. Plus this is way cheaper. You get this whole entire thing for $5.99. Some of those wipes are like eight bucks for 25 wipes. I mean, you can't beat this. Let's start with this. This was definitely my ultimate favorite this month. I have been trying, I saw on Instagram, people have been posting pictures about this whole like pan the palette tag. So I thought that was a really good idea. I've got so many palettes, um, way too many palettes as you can see right here. Um, and that's not even all of them. Out. So I really wanted to get into them because a lot of my palettes, I feel like I use one or two shades. I get like really into them for a little while and then move on to the next big thing. But I have had this naked palette for an embarrassingly long time now. And I've only hit pan on two shades and I just, I don't use it enough. And it really is a good, um, a good little palette. So let me show you. I've been using this like literally every single day I do my makeup this month. I've hit pan on this one, Virgin, which is a great brow bone color. And I've hit pan on this one, which is Sin, which is one of my all-time favorite shades. I actually have that in an individual pot too. I love it. And I'm about to hit pan on Half Baked. I love that one. I really, I love every single one of these shades. The only shade that I love, but it just does not work for me, is sidecar. I love this shade. It's gorgeous, but I get so much glitter fallout when I use this. Um, and I even have tried to put it on, like I thought, oh, well maybe I'm just getting the fallout when I apply it. So I would put the, um, I would do my eyes first and then do my makeup, but I still like, it would look okay. And then halfway through the day, I would notice like flecks of glitter all over my face. And if I'm, if I'm going out or something, it's not that big of a deal, but I feel like it's really weird to have flecks of glitter on your face when you're just at work. So that's the only one that I kind of stay away from. But yeah, these are my favorites. Um, I just love, I love like every one of these shades. I think this is the best naked palette. I don't own the other two, but I've looked at them in stores and I just think that the variation of these colors and how user friendly they are and creamy and buttery and you can use like the lightest of the light shades all the way to the darkest of the darks. They have um, blue tone shades, purple, pinky tone shades, browns, neutrals, and golds. Like it's everything that you would ever need in a palette. So anyway, enough rambling about the Naked palette. Definitely would recommend this and it has been one of my favorites this month. Okay, next up is my foundation that I've been using a lot this month. I just gravitate towards, I just, you know, go on little binges of using certain foundations here, certain foundations there. This month I've really been using this Tarte, what's it called? 
Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. I've been using this a lot lately. And I have this little air bookie, I think they call it, that comes with it. And I love this. This is really good. It's so densely packed. It really stops, it keeps you from putting like way too much on your face, which is definitely something you want to avoid with this product because it gets kind of powdery. But I wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation. So if you're looking for full coverage, this is not the foundation for you. But this is a really good medium coverage foundation. And if you want to use some concealer, it's really, I don't know, I, just, I like it. It's perfect for like no makeup days when you just want to like a little bit of something on your face, but you don't want to look like all done up. This is really good. And I think the only, I'm trying to think, the bad thing about this, which you can definitely like adapt to, is that it oxidizes a little bit darker than when you apply it. So if you're going to get this, I'm in shade light beige, which looks great when I apply it. But later on during the day, I find it oxidizes a shade darker. So I actually, I did repurchase it, but I purchased a shade lighter so that hoping, fingers crossed, when it oxidizes, it'll be the perfect shade. Um, I mean, this isn't like outrageous. I don't think people look at me and go like, oh, that girl needs to get her skin tone checked out. That is not a good match. But I mean, I think, you know, it makes it a little harder. I have to blend a little better, a little around my neck. One more thing about this. It's definitely not a like lock it and leave it kind of concealer. If you, like I get allergies sometimes and like my nose will itch a lot. And if you're sneezing or blowing your nose, I do find that this rubs off really easily. So definitely want to keep like a powder compact in your purse or something if it's one of those days. Next up, another Tarte product that I've been loving and I have loved for months and months. I don't know why I never put it in my empties, but this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and I am in light medium sand, it looks like. Light medium sand. It's if that's a shade, that's what I am. Um, this stuff is so thick. It's kind of hard to work with. So you have to be willing to, you know, warm it up. I like to apply it with my fingers because it is so thick. It will kind of melt it a little bit. Um, but this is really good for under your eyes. It doesn't crease. Like that's, it's called creaseless concealer and that's why it does not crease. And it's also moisturizing. So in the wintertime, eyes get really dry. If I put this on, it doesn't feel like some... Um, concealers will burn my under eyes if they're too dry and the concealer has like I guess some sort of irritant in it but this stuff does not do that to me at all which I love for the winter time it's also good at covering up um, little blemishes too because it is so thick it'll really cling on there and stay so I love this stuff I would definitely recommend it I definitely recommend it and I've repurchased okay, it. Okay, we are on a roll with Tarte products, so this is the last one. Okay, I've also been really into the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes this week, month, month. We're doing monthly favorites, that's right. Um, this is a mini one. I don't know if you can read the writing, but this is a mini one. I think I got it in a gift set around Christmas from Sephora. I really like this stuff. It lengthens, it volumizes, it doesn't flake. I wouldn't say this is like, oh my god, amazing mascara, but it's it's more than decent. It's really good. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this. And Tarte always uses really, like, they avoid a lot of the ingredients that I like to avoid, so I feel pretty safe using Tarte products, so they're definitely one of my favorite companies. Okay, next up we have the Lorac Blush in Plum. I think I put this in my video last year for favorites last year oh my gosh what is my brain doing last month for favorites this is it it is a gorgeous like plum is a perfect color it is a gorgeous plummy burnt red color and it is just so perfect for winter it just warms up your cheeks really beautifully it's really really nice to use it blends easily it stays on your face it's not like one of those colors that really sink into the skin um i really love this i got this on hope look so I hope it's not discontinued, but if it's not, I probably will repurchase it. This is also something that I've used like every day for months and months on end, but I've never included in a favorites. This is my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and this stuff, they give you 0.14 ounces, which sounds like ridiculously small amount, but the tiniest bit goes the longest way, and this thing has lasted me for months and months. I don't even remember when I purchased it. And I think, 
I think it's like 30 bucks and I remember when I bought it I was like that's kind of expensive but it, this lasts me forever like I definitely would recommend this it's really good at setting your under eyes if you have like oily um, or watery lids this would definitely keep everything intact and stop things from you know moving but um, definitely would recommend this Okay, last but not least, this was a favorite that came in my birch box this month, so it snuck in right before the end of the month, and I've been using this for about two weeks, and this is my new obsession, is this eyeliner. This is the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. When I first opened this, I was like, mm, that tip is kind of... Um, thick. Like I feel like it's going to be hard to get a thin line. Plus it's not a brush, which I usually like. It's a felt tip. But if you use the tiniest bit of pressure, you can get the finest, like the finest line. But the same exact point, if you put more pressure, you can get a super thick line. So it's really, really makes winging out your eyeliner super easy because you just put a little bit of pressure on the top and then like a little bit more pressure on the edge and it's just like I, so easy to use. I am obsessed with this stuff and I've only had it for two weeks, but oh my gosh, I don't even, I can't even say enough good things about this. This is my new favorite product. I use it every day and it just makes my life so much easier. Okay, that's it on my January. February favorites, these months are going way too fast for me, are done. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. Did, were any of these your favorites? Did you have different favorites? Please let me know. I would love to try a new product. I'm obviously a product junkie, so more products on my list is always a good thing for me. Please come find me and chat on the internet. I'm at Maria Mascara everywhere. I have blog www.mariamascara.com. Put that right there and then i also am on instagram twitter facebook come find me come say hi i would love it and please subscribe if you like this that way you'll have all of my videos up to date and you won't miss one i'll see y'all later bye